Good morning, welcome to Supercars of London in 2017. An incredibly cliche start. New year, new me. There has been many New Year's resolutions, but mine is serious and I'm taking it seriously. I'm challenging myself to do one exercise or partake in one form of activity every single day for 365 days of the year because 2017 is going to be one hell of an adventure. You guys are coming with me. This is gonna be an incredible journey and I need to make sure that I'm mentally fit, physically fit, to enable myself to be the best I can possibly be. But why does it sound like I'm making out 2017 to be different to any other year? And technically, the beginning of the year, it's not. In 2016, I said I wanted to take Supercars of London to the next level, and I feel like I did that compared to 2015. But 2016 is the new benchmark for Supercars of London, and 2017, for me, I want to bring you guys much more into a personal and intimate journey revolving around supercars, revolving around my lifestyle, revolving around travel. And the only way that I feel that I could do that is to slightly change my video format. So 18 months ago, when I started daily vlogging, I thoroughly enjoyed creating a condensed 15 minute segment of what I did in that day. And throughout 2017, that is what I'm gonna be slowly aiming towards, daily videos that are a segment, a condensed version of everything exciting that I do in that day. But building up to that, I need to make sure that every single one of my videos is not a standalone video. It does not start and finish in the 15 minutes that I am making that video for. So every video will follow on one after the other with the attempt that at the end of December, you could merge all of my videos together and you would create one long 2017 movie. Does that make sense? Because in my head it kind of does. But essentially, what I'm wanting to do is bring you guys into a much more closer personal version of my life through Supercars of London, revolving around driving fantastic cars, giving you proper opinions on everything that I get behind the wheel of, showing you what it is like to own a BMW M3 and drive every single day, what it is like to live with an AMG GTS tuned to over 600 brake horsepower, what it is like to come up with decisions to sell a car, to buy a new car, how that comes about, and everything in between. From catching a plane to the middle of nowhere, to putting a supercar on a ferry and driving it to Iceland, there are so many things that I want to do so many places I want to visit and essentially this video is going to explain why and how 2017 is going to be bigger and better than ever. So about a quarter into my day now I thought that I would uh, bring you to this place where I went off-roading in the Ford Edge because I've got some stories to tell about the BMW M3, my first road trip. Annoyingly I didn't film it because I had three family members in the car and that is another thing over the course of 2017 I think you will start to be introduced to some of my family members the more I begin to daily vlog, the more you come on my journey, the more you will get to know me and my family. But over Christmas I did a road trip to France, the middle of nowhere, no phone signal, no Wi-Fi in the house. Not only did this car perform absolutely fantastically on many things, one thing it failed to perform at, which is standard of the BMW M range, is its fuel economy. We averaged around 25 MPG on all of the motorways and all of the country lanes and I parked it under a tree. So it is absolutely filthy. So one of the first things that I need to do this year is get it clean. A mixture of salt, snow, rain and sun has dried out the wrap even though the ice is slowly melting here. Towards the back, birds have uh, used this car as a target. There is so much bird poo that I may have to rewrap. I say I, Dub Customs may have to rewrap parts of the car. But if you come down to the exhaust tips, you can see just how filthy this car got. One thing that I learned with the help of you guys in 2016 was the importance of video creation, creativity as a whole in terms of video editing. And that is one thing that I'm gonna be bringing forward into 2017, and that is all of the skills that I have learned through you guys, through other YouTubers, in terms of creating a fun, 
engaging and energetic style of video and vlog is I'm gonna be putting and implementing all of my skills that I've learned into every single edit that I do. And I am certain that 2017 is going to be SOL's best year for videos, for fun, for road trips, for adventures, for everything. And I'm gonna be on the hunt for supercars, I'm gonna be on the hunt for amazing driving roads, I'm gonna be on the hunt for amazing weather. Whether that be cold or warm, I wanna do it all. Time is 11.46, and I just ran another 1.5 miles because my sister arrived and wanted to go for a run. Before I go on a quick drive, and uh, talk to you guys. Let me show you, now my car has fully dried out from earlier, just how dirty it is. So uh, this is what about 500 miles through snow, ice, and uh, many birds' nests. Um, well, does to, the, does to the car. So I need to get this cleaned absolutely ASAP. Even round here, it is absolutely, the windows, are filthy the wheel arches these get so dirty because they're flared and yeah not good today has definitely been a flappy day <laughs> everything has just merged into my head all at once I've been away for about six days I've switched off for the world and uh, it has totally freaked me out these last 24 hours because my mind has just been a minefield of thoughts. I have done countless emails. I've been on the phone for about three hours. I have no idea when I'm going to edit this video because I'm out backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I've just spent about an hour and a half designing SOL clothing bits, new products, new designs. All of the product, all of the products come from my left hand, because I'm left-handed, and they come onto paper. I don't do any computer, it's all drawing. <laughs> so I'm slowly, slowly getting more and more wiped out. I've done two runs today. I'm gonna go swimming later, which is actually my activity and exercise from today, which is day three of 365 and um, I've transferred all of my morning's footage onto the computer and I am now going to progressively be editing the video throughout all of the little bits and pieces that I have throughout the rest of the day before everything starts winding down. I can sit down, do a food shop, have some dinner and chill out a little bit. Well, uh, it's dark now. It gets dark very quickly in England. Cold start on the M3 is actually very good. I'm not sure if you can recognize these buildings here, but I have been at SB Race Engineering for the last hour planning tomorrow's video. So after I ran a few errands, I went here, there, and everywhere. I was driving past, I was like, I'm stopping off. Oh, and Stuart has got a brand new BMW M4 competition pack. So that is what I'm gonna be filming tomorrow. But I've spent about an hour here and saving all of the content for tomorrow. So there we go. That is the first video of me being back in England talking about 2017 whilst going about my day-to-day -day stuff. I've got so much to do. I have not been on my phone for the last two hours and I feel like I've got so much to do. I still need to edit this video. So there is a bunch of stuff to do. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. And I, I don't really, I, I don't really know how to um, sign off the vid. I don't really know how to sign off from the video now because I said that I want all of these videos to merge together. So um, bye. <laughs>